And guys, look at the split though. Ooh. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Life with Lois. My name is Lois, if you don't know me. And I'm so glad you could join me today with my Shein haul. Now we've been doing Shein for a while. This is part of our summer series. So sit back, tune in and see what's to come. Right guys, so today we're doing things a little bit different because I really wanted to go and film outside, but in the UK it's pouring with rain, so it did not happen. So I'm inside today with my rack, as normally you don't see our racks, but we're inside today with the rack. We've got all the items on here that we're gonna try on. So at least you've got a sneak preview of what's coming up. So this is my first dress from Shein. Now, if I look this way, don't worry, I've got a mirror over here so I can see exactly what it is I've got on. It reminds me what I've got on as well. So this dress is a, what do you call it? Like a tie-dye, a tie-dye fitted bodycon. It comes just below the knee and everything I've got is in a 4X. Now with Shein, remember to always check your sizing. I tend to order a 4X, particularly because my stomach and my boobs, they need a, more, a bit more help. So I have to consider those things when I'm ordering. If it's like a kind of a tight cotton with no stretch, 4X. Otherwise I can go down to a three, but you must check your size whenever you're ordering. So just a little tip for you with Shein stuff. So this dress, how does it feel? Um, it's quite a thin material. It feels quite nice, it's stretchy. It's a, a loose fabric, really nice and cool to wear in the summer or packing your suitcase when you want to go on holiday. And it's got a round neck at here, also a round neck at the back, sleeveless. The only thing I would say to look out for with this dress, it's a little bit big under the armpit. If you don't mind that, then, and you're sort of like that, that's fine. Or pull the dress down a little bit maybe, or pull it back like that, then it's not noticeable. Doesn't affect the way the dress is. But um, it's nice and thin, cool, breathable. It feels quite comfortable to wear. If I turn around and give you a spin of the back, that's how the back is, quite stretchy, quite a nice material. Um, so yeah, I really like this dress actually. I could picture wearing this on a summer's day when it's really hot and you just go out the street, do what you've got to do, you're good to go. So yeah, I like this, kind of nice, yeah. Thumbs up for me on this one. Now this dress is really cute. I love all this tropical kind of vibe. Um, kind of gives me the holiday vibe, even though we know we're not going anywhere this year. But at the end of the day, I still want to get some kind of holiday vibe going on. So with this dress, um, it's not stretchy. There's no stretch in it, but it is like a cool cotton. Again, this is not a 4X. The reason why I did that is because obviously to give myself some room on the boobs and I've got plenty of room. Arms are good, neck is good. The fit is good. And at the bottom, it's got some little frills. It comes just on the knee line, so it's quite nice. Let me turn around and show you the back view of this. Yeah, this one is really nice. Nice and cool. You could wear it, I don't know, you could wear it shopping or that out for brunch or lunch with the girls. Not that you're doing much lunching and brunching these days because of lockdown. But this is really a nice dress, really cool. Something you could just throw on, pair it up with a handbag, Wedge heels, flip flops, dress it up, dress it down, you're good to go. So what do you think about this one? Your kind of style? Drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. Right, this third dress is in a 4X. Now, I'm actually quite surprised with this one because normally I don't go for a Bardo style top because of the bra situation. I mean, these girls need to be hankered up. So normally that's not the sort of thing I'd go for, but this one's actually quite nice. Well, I think about it, it works really well. It does keep moving a little bit, but what I've done, I've still got a bra on, just took it off on the sides. And uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. It's got a flared out arm, like a, I don't know what you call these, like, like a bat wing kind of thing. But it's really cool cotton. Up here is totally stretchy, up the top, and the rest is just kind of flary. So this is the kind of dress that you go out to brunch. Have a nice brunch, feel no way, eat what you want. Somebody said to me that this gives them date night vibes. 
I don't know about that. But if it does, you can wear it whatever you like. But it is really, really nice. I think this is definitely a keeper. Yeah? Definitely a keeper. What do you think, guys? Keeper, yay or nay? Thumbs up for me. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Right, guys, this one. This one is a little corker. Right, where do I start? It's off the shoulder, Bardo. I don't know how I end up with two of these, but um, I'm not the off the shoulder kind of girl because I'm always concerned that the bra straps, I don't think, you know, it's up to you if you want to wear your bra straps up, but I'm thinking if it's off the shoulder, I wouldn't want to see my bra straps. But this actually works really well. The straps are just down here. So you've got the off the shoulder look. It's got a stretchy, elasticated waist and it's really cool it's a cotton material and to be honest i've actually could have gone down a size this is a 4x i could have gone down a size because it's given me plenty of room on the bust plenty of room on the on the waist and the arms are nice and flowy they've got a the frill bit on the end and it's a really cool cotton and guys look at the split though Ooh, it's got a split <laughs> it starts from about here right to the bottom and this this is probably meant to be a maxi and trust me it's a maxi although i'm not very tall guys i'm five three and a half i think and this actually hits me right to the floor but if i was to wear like a wedge or a little heel it would be just literally flowing can you imagine walking in the wind and just kind of tailing behind you that's how this dress would be it's super flary really nice as you can see from the side it's really really nice so uh yeah this makes you feel all nice and summery going out for cocktails with your girlfriends you can imagine and guys you can eat all you want talk about room <laughs> so what do you think guys yay or nay guys this one now this is unusual for me i don't do play suits i just don't think they suit me but I thought let me step out of my comfort zone do something different because at the plus size ladies wear play suits why wouldn't I won't wear a play suit so I thought let's try it so uh, this one it's um yeah I have ironed it guys I just still it's just it is what it is a little bit crumpled what I do like about it though it is actually lined on the inside but it's lined with a very thin material so it's not hot it's not um, something that would overheat you. And look in the mirror. Um, this bit, I was, I was worried about this on my stomach because I just thought it'd, it'd hang funny. So I'm actually wearing it off the shoulder, although you could wear it on the shoulder, but I think it looks better off the shoulder. In terms of the waistband, this is totally stretchy. And if you've got a small waist and it comes on the waist, it will fall better. But the thing is, the shorts are a little bit weird. Not sure if they're really meant to be like that or because I've got bigger thighs I'm not sure if it really hangs right that's the only thing a bit funny about this guys it hangs a little bit funny but um I like the concept I like the idea of it but probably not for me but if you've got like smaller thighs and you know you could probably get away with this let's pull the hair around a bit so you can really see it off the shoulder yeah I think it's quite nice but Probably not something that I would be comfortable wearing, but it is, it's cute. It's cute. It's not Lois though. It's not me. So what do you think guys? It might suit you. Yeah. Right guys, so this is a little bit out of my today comfort zone. Normally I wouldn't have a problem wearing this, but because I've put on a little lockdown weight, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, and also, I'm not used to wearing crop tops and showing my stomach. But this one was chosen by my daughter. And she was like, mum, you've got to get it. So I thought, all right, all right, all right. So it's a stretchy material. Um, this is not a 4X. One thing about this though, if you expected it to stay where you put it, it doesn't. Every time I move, it goes up or, you know. I mean, it's a nice outfit. The stomach, yep, yeah, you can see my stomach with it. But this tight area kind of gives a sort of a mask to it so it's it hides it but if you don't mind showing your stomach 
then this is the outfit for you. It's really nice and summery, proper summer vibes going to a barbecue or a party, well, evening party sort of thing. But um, yeah, it's kind of cute, but it doesn't stay where you put it. So you can wear it together like this, or you can wear it a bit lower if you want, depends how you are. But it's really stretchy, guys. Really stretchy, really, really comfortable and quite cooling as well. So I would say it's a lovely outfit, um, but under duress of my daughter, <laughs> which is why I got it. But you know what? Like I said, I'm here to bring you items, whether they look good or not so good. Okay, if they look totally bad, I won't bring it. But it depends on how you feel, how comfortable you are. You know, if you've got it, wear it. If you enjoy it, wear it. That's how I see it. So... This is the last outfit. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for staying right to the end. That was the final outfit, which I've still got on as you can see. But I just wanted to come and say thank you for our new subscribers. I've seen the numbers going up. Thank you so, so much. And thank you to my day ones, LWL crew, who are still with us, who are still watching, who are still commenting. I'm answering all the comments as well. And guys, what I want to ask you is don't forget to share all our videos. Like them, drop a comment down below and share them. Because when you drop comments down below and you share it, believe it or not, it's picked up by the algorithm of YouTube. And when you start to make comments and share our videos, then it means that you must like it. So therefore, if you like it, others will like it. And then they'll share it around even more. It's like a cycle, it just goes round and round and round. A bit like a washing machine, but anyway. So guys, don't forget to do that for me. Guys, don't forget to click on your notifications button so that every time I release a video, you will be the first to know. And also on Sundays, we're gonna be having fashion and lifestyle. On Wednesdays, it's gonna be our business videos being released. And the thing is guys, watch it and check it out. If you're interested in starting a business, or you're not sure where to start, check it out. Who says you can't be interested in fashion and lifestyle and business? Plenty of business people do both. They do a lot of variety of things. So check out those um, videos. Now and then we'll be releasing some vlogs. Now these vlogs will give you a little bit of a background history into my life. You can follow me on my entrepreneurial day, see what I do in my business, and also just follow a bit of family life as well. So, that's a mouthful, guys. That's a mouthful. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to keep tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And don't forget, it's your life. Have a fantastic week. And whatever you do, own it. See you later, guys. Bye.